That's why. Okay, question. Yeah. Dr. Yates was at your school today. What's the name of your school? Debutte Secondary. Okay. And what form are you guys in? Form four. Form four. What did you learn today? I learned a lot about grassmatic. It was very interesting. And then I learned different ways to add and divide and multiply and subtract without using my calculators. The easiest ways I, I would never think of. It was very interesting. I learned a lot. Good. And I hope to visit the website one day. Beautiful. And I learned that nine was the highest number. Dang! <laughs> I was about to ask that. Okay, why would nine be the highest number? Why? Because you have to start all over. Again, again. at one zero. Right. Nine Very zero. good. Right. Very we had a lot of fun. We, yes. we, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. And, the link, we, and following instructions was one of the most important things. That's right. How many ears do you have? Two. Two. How many mouths? One. So you're supposed to do what? Listen, Listen more one. and speak talk less. less. You got it. Talk less. Yeah. Good. What prizes? Yeah. That's that really was nice. fun. You like the the part. Yeah, right. That was nice. What was nice? The learn and earn? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Who earned money today? You know some of the students by name? Yeah, yes. my friends. Yeah? Who, what are the names were? Melissa, uh -huh. Angus, um, well, um, Owen. Owen, okay. All right. Joshua. 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 What form y'all in? Form, form four. four. Form four, okay. And what if, if A plus B equals C? What does C plus D equal? G. Yes. G. Why? Why? Because, because one, one A is one, one, B is two, C is three. So, that's so one plus two. So one, one three. plus three. One plus two, two is three. three, and three plus four is seven. And seven. So the, the seventh seven letter in the alphabet is G. Whoa! So that's Compliment the yourself. Compliment yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, how long are you staying in the What's that? San Lucia. How long am I be staying in San Lucia? That's up to y'all. How long y'all want me to stay in San Lucia? We are to come back in June. We would like you to come to, to teach us for a day. For a whole day? Yes, yeah. just the pompons. Just the pompons. That would be nice. Wow. The whole day? Yes. That sounds like a lot of fun. That learning process yeah. is easier than making it the longer way. Well, yes. yes. Because I never thought like you um, nine times eight, you just minus one right, from, from the, the other eight, one. Yeah. And you yes. get seven. Yeah. And then the seven from the nine, you get two. Nine is seven, two. Question, why do most children fear math? Because, because they feel they it, hard. it is difficult to them. They don't like it. So every time like you dislike a subject and you say you cannot do it, you're putting yourself down. So the more you say you cannot do it, you wouldn't be able to do it. That's true. Okay, and your young lady, your reason? Give us another reason. Why, why students don't like math? Why don't you like math? Uh, I like math. No, why why, why, we're why not talking about those who like, those who don't like it. Why they don't like it? I like just because... She won. Okay, young lady? I think because the math teachers sometimes put the word very difficult for us to understand. That's why. Okay, that's a good one. What is your opinion? Why some, do you know that some adults don't even know math and some teachers don't even know math? They don't like it? Why is that? Because it's in hard. Yes, yes. Okay. Go ahead. Um, another thing, like, some teachers, they come, they put us on the board and tell you work it out and you don't know, like, you don't understand. You don't understand. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You don't know what you're doing or say anything. You know you don't understand, you don't know what you're doing. Okay. And you know some teachers, like they, like some math teachers, they think they know a lot. And they don't understand the, 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 the subject for themselves. So, uh, you know? <laughs> That's true. That is true. But it's true. I like. <laughs> that is so true. That is so true. Okay, now, listen to this carefully. What, 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 what do you think the purpose of grammatics is? What's the purpose? <laughs> to understand math much better. Yes. That's from a better form. point of view, in a simplest form. Mm -hmm. Get a proper understanding of what math is about. Yes. Good. Question. If nine, what is the half of nine? 4.5. 4. 4. Right. 5. What is the half of four? 2.0. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2.1? 2. 2.0. That's right. Because, uh -huh. because an even number you use zero, mm -hmm. point point zero. Point zero, and an odd number you use point 0.5. You compliment her, compliment her. Yes. Yeah. 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 She's hot. She She's hot. That's right. She learned today. Okay, good. Listen to this carefully. Happy you didn't get five dollars. <laughs> Whatever. That's I okay. She's greater than that. She, that's right. I could have gotten it. That's right. <laughs> because the reason why I didn't get it, he was uh -huh. looking at me too much. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Now listen to this carefully. If the half of nine is four point five, and the half of four is two point zero, what is the half of zero? Zero point five. Zero point zero. That's right. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
why, why, zero, why zero point zero? Because zero, you cannot get nothing out of it. Right, zero, zero. Zero, zero. Yeah, zero, zero, good. Okay, what, what does zero mean? According to Grassmatics, what does zero mean? Pardon? Empty. Empty, that's what it's all is, right. It means that Arab says empty, right, emptiness, right. What, are, what does zero really mean besides that? What is the value of zero? How much is zero value? Big and nice, fresh and nice, fresh and Not nothing but what? Zero. Zero, yes, it values zero, it values itself. How much is one value? One, you didn't say nothing, right? So zero values zero. How many numbers would it be from zero to nine? Nine. Did you count it? No. But count it and see. Okay, 10. That's right. 10. 10 because 10. you want 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, nine 10. ten. <laughs> That's why after 9 comes 10. Yeah. You go from 0 to 9 is 10. That is very tricky. Well, you know why it's tricky? Because they didn't teach it the simple way. Yeah, that's you true. see, they start you counting at 1. If you started at 0, then you learn the value of 0. Well, I believe if they, so, if they, to, if they teach us maths the way you, teach, you taught us today, it will be, be better for students to pass the CXC. Wow, beautiful. Compliment her. She's deep. Woo! She is deep, girl. You got to get into the math program, represent your school for the competition. Yeah, I think you should. Well, yeah, what happens is that students have to write, and then we pick about okay. two zero students. Okay. okay. What is 9 plus 8, according to Grassmatics? What is 9 plus 8? 17. Eh. One, one, seven. Seven. One, seven. one seven. I said one according seven. to Grassmatics. Yeah, yeah, one seven. seven. Okay, yes. why would it be one seven instead of seventeen? Because it's grassmatic. Okay. And why why the number would not be um seventeen? Why? Because there's no such number as seventeen. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's one, what? It's seven. one seven. seven. Okay, why why not seventeen? Why you can't write seventeen as a number? Because if you have to write it as a number, you go S E V E S. <laughs> yes. You have to spell it. You spell so it. you have to write it in figures, it's one, one seven. seven. Woo, come to her. One that's one good. One. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's good. <laughs> all right, all right, another question for you guys. This one you didn't learn in school today, but you're about to give me the answer, all right? Listen to me carefully. According to the word alphabet, according to the meaning of the word alphabet, how many letters should be in the alphabet? How many letters? Yes. According to the meaning of the word alphabet, how many letters should be in it? Nine. Why? Because alphabet has nine letters. Letters, good, that's true. But I wasn't asking how many letters in alphabet. I'm asking according to the meaning of the word, alphabet. How many letters should be in because it? Because alpha means one. Exactly, and bet means? Nothing. No, bet means? One, three. No. More than one? Think about it, yes. If alpha means one, which is A, bet means what? 